Hi, I'm Amy on A Lolly Life, and today we are going to clean the toaster. Ooh. Oh wait, I can't turn it sideways. You have to come up and look inside, into the depths of the toaster. Look into the depths of that toaster. It is very crummy. Ooh, we're gonna clean it. And one of the very, very important things before you start cleaning is this. This thing. This can't be plugged in. You're not supposed to clean the toaster while it's plugged in. Just don't do it. Bad idea. The first part of cleaning the toaster is removing the crumb tray. And they usually have one uh, that pulls out or sometimes they like, they like flip down. But we'll find the crumb tray. Crumb, crumb tray and you slide it out very carefully because now I just got it all over the floor and so now I'm gonna have to sweep the floor. Okay, yeah, I'm not sure how I thought I wasn't going to have to do that. The crumb tray. Yeah, it's probably been a little while since I've cleaned this out. I think that this actually just slides all the way out. Hmm. Yep, and I do definitely have to sweep the floor now. It slides all the way out, all over the floor. Ta-da, I got the crumb tray out. If you do it more often and you don't have these like bigger pieces to get caught on, it slides out a little easier. You take your little crumb tray over to the sink and dump it down and then scrub it off. Rubby, rubby. One freshly cleaned crumb tray. Fabulous. The next thing that we need to do is actually turn it upside down and shake it. Just because there's probably crumbs in there that you haven't gotten yet. We'll do it over the sink. Yeah. Wow, lots of crumbs. Now that we have the crumb tray pulled out, emptied, scrubbed, and we've turned this upside down and shook it, we need a cleaning toothbrush. But the important thing here is that it needs to be a new cleaning toothbrush. This should not be the cleaning toothbrush that you use to scrub the toilet or the sink or even your teeth. This should be a new cleaning toothbrush. cleaning toothbrush. And what you're gonna be doing is you're going to kind of gently, very, very gently, you're gonna go down the sides and you're going to uh, just brush off any of the loose crumbs that didn't fall out. And you need to be especially gentle about this because you, the little wires that heat up across the thing, if you bump those too much or you're like banging into them, they will break off and then they will not work. And all of your work cleaning that toaster will be for naught because you will have to go buy a new toaster. And I really, really hate it when I clean something and then I have to go buy a new one. Like that's just ridiculous. Why would you want to clean something if you had to go buy a new one? So don't do that. Yeah, so very gently, just kind of go up and down and knock off any of the crumbs that you didn't get the other way. Just very gently. Most most of the stuff that you're going to be scrubbing off with the cleaning toothbrush is at the very bottom. Um, usually there's not a ton of things on the little wires themselves. It's usually just stuff that's kind of stuck on the bottom and you're just kind of knocking off the, the bigger stuff then after you've knocked all that the crumbs off. We go back and dump it again. And I have one spot that isn't particularly clean in there. And so I'm going to go back at that one. 
and it is a raisin from Raisin Toast that obviously fell off the toast and now is stuck to the bottom. Hmm. to address this. Yeah, that stuff. But before we address it, I just need to give a couple of words of warning. First of all, it is not a good idea to use any kind of soap or cleaner inside of your toaster. Do not, it, you know, you might dampen the toothbrush with just a tiny bit of water and use that to to scrub something off perhaps inside the toast toaster. However, do not spray cleaner on this or in the toaster or whatever else. Do not put soap on the toothbrush that you're using to, you know, scrub in there. Bad idea. You can't rinse this. Like you just, you can't do that. So don't spray any cleaners on it. Um, if you do dampen the toothbrush with a little bit of water to scrub inside, you need to make sure that you let the toaster set for at least 24 hours before you use it again so that it has a chance to completely and totally dry. Again, you can't actually get it wet, but if you do use a tiny bit of dampness on the inside, again, let it dry. We are going to try a couple of different things to get some of this burnt on stuff off. We are going to work with a magic eraser a little bit, and I have the glass cooktop stove stuff, and obviously I don't have a glass cooktop stove, but this kind of stuff works really well for cleaning things um, that you don't want to scratch. And so this will work really well for cleaning like bathroom shower, you know, glass things or, or other things. So you use it be for other things besides just a glass cooktop, uh, like, this. We will put a tiny bit of this, just a dab. Here we go. Woo! Okay, here's my dab. I'm actually gonna rub it in a little bit so I don't, it doesn't drip down. I am okay with the idea that it is not sparkling brand new. And part of the reason is because of the difficulty in cleaning this area. And so let me explain what I'm talking about. This part here, if you'll notice, it actually moves. Um, it's not meant to have a ton of pressure, you know, and just scrubbing at it and just really beating on it. It's not meant to have that. And so I'm okay with the idea that I can't scrub it to death. And I'm not willing to spend multiple hours scrubbing it gently so that I can get it scrubbed all the way. The other thing is, is that you can't actually wet this down much. Like it's not drippy at all. There is some dampness to it, absolutely. And there's some cleaner on it, but I can't have it wet so that it would drip into the thing. So that like, as I'm pushing, cause sometimes if it was, you know, wet, if you were pushing down on it, it would actually push some of the liquid out and it would get in there. And that's what we're trying to avoid. We're trying to avoid having any cleaner get in the toaster because it's not good that like will ruin your toaster i ended up not using the the dry erase marker um this worked fair it wasn't as good as i had hoped so i went to the barkeeper's friend barkeeper's friend it is my best friend here's my pile of barkeeper's friend this is how i actually wet it i turn the water on so you can kind of see that there's like a little bit of water right there. And what I will do is I will do this just, and then I kind of just, whatever, so that I, that's how I got it wet. So that just like the tiniest little bit of water so that when I squeeze it, like I can't squeeze any water out of it, but it is damp. I will dab my cloth in it, dab it in the water so that it's uh, dabbed in. Ooh, there we go. 
Then I take it over and scrub with it. It looks pretty good. It's not perfect, but it looks great to me. Ooh, hey, and I got off another tiny spot. I'm really, really good with how that turned out. Yes, there are some spots. Yes, if I kept scrubbing, I probably could get them. I just, they, they, they it doesn't matter that much to me, as I say, as I keep scrubbing it. But, you know, we're done. So now I have a, just a damp cloth. It's, again, dry damp. It's not very damp. And I am going to just wipe off the excess cleaner, or you know, any cleaner that was on there, and just try and get that wiped off. I truly squeezed out a lot of water, so this is not drippy wet at all. Now that we're all done with all that, we will slide our freshly cleaned crumb tray back in, and voila! <laughs> And so yes, it does have some uh, little dirty spots. I'm okay with that. Um, you cannot actually clean these wires. That would be detrimental to the toaster if you get something on those other than being able to brush it off with just a slightly damp toothbrush. There's really no way to clean those. You cannot put your cleaner cloth in there and clean inside of the, the thing. Mm. Why am I letting my toaster kiss me? I don't even know. You might be clean, but I don't like you that much. I may not like the toaster that much, but I do like my subscribers that much. And I really appreciate... No, I don't like you that much. Yes, yeah, sorry, I'm not even gonna let my subscribers kiss me. That's like family only. Yeah, probably wasn't thinking when I said that out loud. But I do really like you. I think you're wonderful, and I'm so glad that you're here with me. <laughs> I'll see you next time on A Lolly Life.